Hey guys, it's Misha from Scraps and Things 1, and I wanted to share some things that I'm working on. Um, they're not finished, but um, my husband's on vacation this week, so I don't know how often I'll get to uh, be crafting. But I'm making these ornaments, and um, I want to use uh, some of these for a challenge giveaway but it's not they're not finished so but this is a birdhouse Let's see that and I used um, dimensional magic from Mod Podge over it see how shiny that is and then um, there's some gold and red um, well, the gold is a uh, gel pen. The red is my Bic Markets. And then there's a uh, green gel pen around here. And so when I finish, there's going to be some things that I want to stick on, like little flowers or pine cones or something like that. But when I finish, I'll show you what, they, what the completed project looks like. Here's a chipboard piece. And I used some gesso. Yeah, I finally got some gesso. I have got a lot of stuff. I just haven't shared any hauls because I just started using the project, uh, the products. But anyway, this um, also has dimensional magic on it. And this is cut from um, close to my heart paper. And I'm going to use this for, yeah, if you bend it like I did here, it cracks. So don't do that. <laughs> but I think it ac actually adds to it. But I'm going to do some distressing on it. I'm going to put some, like, uh, pine cones and ribbon and some things like that on. But I just wanted to show you what I have been working on. Now these metal pieces, I got in a rack um, as a part of a Christmas gift. I think Christmas, it might have been Halloween treat um, rack from my bestie at the uh, Scrappy Bookworm. So this apple I used um, the Bic Markets on uh, as well. And then I cut this from some Martha Stewart paper. I gessoed. And um, I could leave it at that like this, but I think I'm going to add a couple, um, some greens down here maybe, and some, like, a bow or something to it. So we'll see. And then here's, um, this one is awesome. I love it. The black and the red set it off. Here's one, this is also from the Martha Stewart paper. All the metals come from my friend. Now, this one might be a little hard to see, but right there is a reindeer, see? Now this is a wood piece that she gave me, and then she also gave me this heart. And um, I used the Stardust glitter pens on it. Oh, I only have one, but they're awesome. She also gave me that pen. Um, this is, um, it says Joy to the World. Can you see that? And this is a chipboard piece that I reconstructed so I'm gonna make this either a tag or an ornament so from there I decided to try my hand at dominoes and this was the first one I made and here are little bees and this is from a K and company stack an old paper stack and then on the back I used this um, jewelry wire here to make a hanger and then I put this uh, burlap over it that I also
also received from my friend at the Scrappy Bookworm. So I covered it like that. And I really like, I distressed this with some black soot, but I really like playing with the dominoes. And I wanted to show you, I made this one stamped here, a little house, and it says Home Sweet Home. And this is the front of the dominoes. Unfortunately, you can see the holes, but I think that kind of adds something to it. And then the back is just um, some blue paper, and I put the paper on, and I used it to cover up the hanger I have hanging there, the jewelry wire. Now the thing is, when you use Dimensional Magic, you have to get all the way to the edge. If you don't, it will lift. Like, where's my apple? You see that right there? So I'm going to have to glue that down because I didn't get it over the edge. I didn't want it to go through the screen. But it's going to lift if I don't put some more on there. So then I did this wood one and it's a butterfly and I have to put holes in it yet. But I love it. And then I stamped this one out. Isn't that pretty? And you have to get all the way to the edge. This is dimensional magic. I like this almost more than I like the glossy accents. Now this is just a flower, I think. I don't know. I'm having a hard time deciphering that. And then here's a bee. But, yeah, that's a flower. Oh, yeah, that's a flower. <laughs> See, here's the little flower, and here's another flower. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see that. These are leaves on this side. And then, um, oh, yeah, this way. There, it's note um, paper with um, grass going through it. So here's a note, here's a note, there's a note. Music notes. So that's what I've been working on and they aren't finished but I love them and I wanted to share them. They've been sitting here. Sorry about that. They've been sitting here for a couple days and I'm like trying to entertain people in my pool and at the same time do what I want to do and it's hard and my son has Asperger's so he demands a lot of time so this is some of the stuff that I've been working on and I hope to finish it I also started all right ready this is a toilet paper tussie toilet paper roll tussie so I'm making these. Hopefully I can get a bunch of these made and put some tissue paper in it and sell them at some... Oh, I have to glue that. The glue's not holding. Hmm. Guess I'll have to use some dimensionals or glossy accents on that. But this one is um, Harvest slash... Halloween. Love that. You know what I did? There's a sticker of eyeballs under there and then I stuck the skull over it. I think it's cute. And then this little spider. Love that. So yeah, I'm working on this too and I hope to sell them, but I'm not sure how, how much I should sell them for. I'm thinking if they're filled with candy or something, maybe I should sell them for five. And if they're not filled, four dollars. I don't know. Now I live in northern Pennsylvania, so we have to think about that as well. What people want to pay. So, yep, this is some things that I've worked been working on. So thanks for watching, and I hope I can finish them and show you what they look like when they're completed. Uh, this is my 
my current projects. So thanks a lot, and I'll see you with my next video.